Good evening everyone and welcome po sa ating prayer meeting at binabati ko po ang bawat isa ng uh, Merry Christmas and I hope and pray na ating ma-celebrate itong kapaskuhan na ito na kung saan ito ay meaningful at alam natin kung ano yung katotohanan ng tunay na kapaskuhan a deeper meaning of Christmas and this deeper meaning of Christmas can be shared to everyone and sa ating pong time na ito ng ating pag-aaral ng salita ng Panginoon which is the most important part of our um, of our activity tonight we are going to study Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 to 7 Isaiah chapter 9 if you have your, if you have your Bibles with you and uh, most of us are familiar with these ver- verses and of course most of you memorized it and Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 to 7 the word of the Lord says For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Verse seven: Of the increase of this government and of peace there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Shall we commit this in prayer? Tayo po'y manalangin. Panginoon Diyos, maraming salamat po sa gabi nito na inyong pinagalap sa amin. Thank you, dear Lord, for uh, we can think, we can ponder of this wonderful event where in Jesus Christ, your Son came to this world. And uh, thank you, dear Lord, for we have received this wonderful a gift from you the gift of salvation and uh, thank you dear lord and uh, guide us as we study upon your word give us wisdom as we ponder upon it as we pray in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen so isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 ito pong talata na ito na may kita natin in the old testament is a very familiar verse alam nyo po itong Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 is often used in every Christmas presentation. At uh, marami ang nag-memorize ito. And uh, sadly, karamihan nga lang din ang mga kabataan at mga, uh, mga nakapag-memorize nito ay ginagamit lang po ito tuwing Christmas. But then again, it is, when we look upon it, it is a very uh, wonderful verse na kung saan may kita natin dito yung yung propesya yung pagdating ng ating Panginoon uh, na kung saan he will be our king he will be the messiah he will establish his kingdom and of course the greatest thing about this verse or the greatest thing about Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 to 7 it is a declaration If ito po ay pag-declare at pag-prophesy ni, ni Robert Isaiah, it is also a declaration of hope. Alam niyo po ito pong, ito pong uh, pag-aasa na ito. Bagamat natanggap din natin ang pag-aasa na ito sa person ng ating Panginoon, by that time, ito po ay isang napaka-importanting pag-aasa rin na inaabangan ng mga, ano, mga Jews. Because as we look up on the background of of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 7 we could found it in the Old Testament and uh, this one this this prophet Isaiah is a prophet in three uh, time periods he is a prophet before the Babylonian Empire he is the prophet during the Babylonian Empire and of course he is also the prophet after the Babylonian Empire so um, ito si Isaiah Uh, uh, is a prophet in um, in four different kings and he also a prophet during the time of of um, the divided kingdom saan makita natin di ba in, in, the, in the history of Israel uh, the divided kingdom there uh, ang nasa taas ay they, we call it Israel we call it the northern kingdom And the southern kingdom, which is also called Judah, and the capital city of Jerusalem. Now, si Isaiah ay naka, uh, 
uh, nakapag uh, witness ng apat na kings it is the king um, first is the is king Uzziah where in the prosperity of 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 Jerusalem ay tumaas gumanda but yet again he is siya ay na disqualified at nagkaroon ng leprosy because he took over yung 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 gawain ng priest so he was disqualified and di po siya gumali hanggang siya ay namatay the second king is king Jotham then there's king Ahaz and then there's king Hezekiah and by this time nung binanggit po ni Isaiah yung prophecy prophecy na ito na Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 it was the time of King Ahaz. So it is it his when uh, when chapter 9 appeared, siya po ay nagsasalita sa Southern Kingdom or Judah before the Babylonian exile. So this time is um the the first or the superpower of Assyria. We all know in in uh, the history. Um ang una talagang uh, the fall of the two kingdoms, the northern and south. The first one that that fell is the Northern Kingdom. At yung conqueror po nila ay the Assyrians. Okay? The Assyrians po ang kanilang kanilang ano kanilang uh, kalaban by that time. And then um nauna po sila and after some years because of sin, disobedience of Israel, na ano din po na na fall din ang uh, Southern Kingdom. And and no na follow Southern Kingdom is it is not the Assyrians but it is the Babylonian Empire which is led by Nebuchadnezzar. Now, ito pong time na ito, um, there there's a threat, there's a threat of the Assyrians in the Northern Kingdom, and the Northern Kingdom and Syrians team up. Sila po ay nag nagkaroon ng 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 ng, ng coalition and they wanted na i-join itong si Ahaz. Si Ahaz na isama doon, isama sa, sa grupo nila against the Assyrians. And of course, Ahaz was was afraid. Ahaz, the king of, of Judah was afraid of the Assyrians. As we look closely into it, ang um, Judah, they they by that time they felt powerless. And of course, they're afraid of the Assyrians. And they're also afraid because the enemies are getting are getting stronger. Matindi rin yung fear, intensify din yung fear, and of course, kapag nag-intensify na po yung takot ng mga tao na ito, they felt abandoned. So, this one, this events lead up to Isaiah's prophecy of the king, or the events lead up to the Isaiah's prophecy of Messiah. At ito po yung hamon sa atin ng salita na po yun. As study, Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. So, of course, is to know the great plan of God. From the beginning, ang Panginoon po ay nagbigay na ng, ng, ng pangako sa atin. Nagbigay na ng, 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 ng tagapaglita sa atin. Even in Genesis chapter 3, He also he already uh, provided sa atin sa, para sa ating mga kasalanan. Para, para ibalik tayo, ibalik ang relasyon natin sa ating Panginoon. And of course, it is included in the great plan of God. Pangalawa is to appreciate His goodness. Alam niyo po, Ito pong kapanganakan ng ating Panginoon. Ito po ay isang bagay na dapat natin ma-appreciate. Sapagkat ang Panginoon po ay mabuti sa atin. He doesn't need us. He doesn't need our worship. He doesn't need our our existence, actually. Well, He, he can exist without us. He can He can um, he can still exist. He can. Uh, he is still God, even without us. So, ang pagliktas ng ating panginoon, ang provide niya ng 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 tagapagliktas, the person of Jesus Christ, is a an evidence of God's goodness. And of course, in response to that, we are to appreciate it. And number three is to put our hopes to the person of Jesus Christ. Wherein he is the topic, wherein he is the the person of this. He is the 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 center of our study tonight. Now, at the kung bigyan pansin, bagamat maraming propesya ang book of Isaiah, we have two prophecies. First is in a, in Isaiah chapter seven verse forty to sixteen. We there there it mentioned the name Emmanuel, 
At alam po natin kung nabisipin ni Emmanuel, God is with us. It is again resurfaced in the book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 23 when um, nabanggit again, mentioned again the word Emmanuel, God is with us. Now this one, ay magkita natin nag, uh, ang, ang unity ng scriptures. Hindi um, siya nagkakontradict. At isa po ang tinutukoy nito. Wala nang iba kundi ang ating Panginoong Isus. It is, it is a fulfillment of God's presence and favor against Assyria. Napakada po. God is with us. His presence is with us. His favor is with us. In the time of Isaiah, ito pong, ito pong yung, 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 pag, yung, pag, yung pagtanggap nila ng mensahe na ito, the Lord the, the Lord's presence and the Lord's favor was with them even with this big threat of the Assyrians. And of course, we all know na itong presensya ng Panginoon, itong favor ng Panginoon, it is always, it is always be with them. And sa atin, ang, pang- ang presensya ng Panginoon ay nandyan. It is with us by giving His only Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. And number two, na prophecy dito is Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. It's a prophecy of Jesus. Fulfillment of God's promise of the Messiah. So Messiah, the Anointed One. Meron po tayong ina- uh, in, in, the Old, in the Old Testament, meron po tayong inaanoy na tatlo. The Prophet, the Priest, and, and King. At ito pong Messiah na ito, King na ito of the Jews, has been highlighted in the book of Matthew wherein the wise men are seeking for the king. And this, this wise men knew who this king, na kung ano yung heart, yung na, kung ano yung person na ito, he is a king, and this child, alam nila kung, yung, kung ano yung bata na, they worship him, they worship the child, and they give gifts which is gold, incense, and myrrh. These are gifts that are fit for a king. Because they knew that this child was the promised Messiah. And then again, people and hero did not accept that one. And, and uh, hindi nila tanggap ang tunay na regalo. Hindi nila tanggap ang tunay na hari ng kanilang buhay. And of course, John chapter 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. It is not us who requested the coming of Jesus Christ, but it is God initiated in giving His Son for us. Now, let me focus again as we study upon Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 to 7. We're going to focus on His incarnation and, and His description. And most of us here I are confident in our government, are confident in, in our new leaders. We are also praying for our leaders. But um, as Christians, the Lord has commanded us to obey them. And of course, meron tayong, ano, meron tayong uh, pag-asa. Yes. We do not put our hopes in a certain person. We do not put our hopes in, in, in uh, totality. In total, uh, sa kabuuan o sa lahat-lahat na din ini-interest sa isang tao lang. No? Kundi yung pag-asa natin is the rule, the, the ruling of Jesus Christ. The ruling of this king. At yan din po yung inabangan. Sa panahon ngayon, bagamat magaling yung ating mga leaders, or some would say, magaling yung ating mga leaders, but then again, it can never, hindi niya kayang tapatan kung ano yung inaabangan natin bilay sa mga nampalataya. It is the rule, the, the rule of Jesus Christ. Na ito pong, ito pong uh, prophecy na ito, it speaks of this incarnation. It speaks of the Messiah's humanity. Yung pagkatawang tao niya. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He had to come as a child. As a human being. Siya po talaga ay nagkatawang tao. Yan lang po in the book of Luke. Which emphasizes, the, emphasizes that Jesus Christ is really a true... Uh, is, is, is a son of man. Talagang nagkatawang tao siya. Magkita natin dito na na siya ay nagkatawang tao katulad natin pinangang siya na katulad natin and he grew up katulad natin because in the book of Luke it is mentioned there yung 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 ay, yung, yung pag yung adolescence ni Jesus Christ and also yung kanyang pagiging yung kanyang 
paglaki it is symbolized there to give us a, an evidence that Jesus Christ was a was a was, was not just a hundred percent God when he came here but he is also a hundred percent man he is with the flesh so is this Messiah's humanity for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given he went to the process atulad natin so it speaks of the first advent because it is declared there it is declared in Ezekiel 9 verses a child is born uh, and on on uh, on the second advent of our Lord of of our Lord Jesus Christ ay hindi na po siya darating na, na isa pang sanggol but he will come here as a conquering king and he will rule so uh, as we wait upon that ay uh, napaganda na nabigat yung focus ito so he is given he came as a son of God in human flesh of course pumunta siya dito yet he is without sin okay Palagi yung nagtatandaan that he is 100% man and a hand, or rather he is 100% God and 100% man. Hindi po siya 50% God and 50% man. No. And we could find here in pangalawa is a deceased description. Now, this description, ito po ay napaganda sapagkat binanggit dito ang apat. He is the wonderful counselor. Bagamat sa King James ito po ay pinaghiwalay pero napaalam na po na pagsamahin natin yan in relation naman sa ibang mga translations. He is a wonderful counselor. He is a mighty God. He is the everlasting Father. And He is the Prince of Peace. Alam niyo po sa pagguru ng ating Panginoon as we wait upon Him, ang pagguru ang leadership ng ating Panginoon is, the, is perfect. There's no human being that can serve pass his leadership. There's no human being na kaya, kahit malang kayang tapatan ng ating leadership ng ating Panginoon. Ang pag-rule ng ating Panginoon. Why? Because in this description, his name shall be called he is a wonderful counselor. Which means, in the ruling of our, of Jesus Christ, there will be no confusion. His own for counselor, in which it speaks of his wisdom. It speaks of his wisdom. As we ask, if 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 we have time and makita natin, mabasa natin yung yung kanyang encounters, mabasa natin yung kanyang pagkikipag-usap sa iba't ibang klase ng tao, pag-usap niya sa isang tax collector, pagkikipag-usap niya sa fishermen, pagkikipag-usap niya sa women at the well. He knew. He knew what to say. Alam niya yung kaya sasabihin. At alam niya ang pangangailangan. And he knew kung paano i-reach out ang mga tao na ito. He knew. He knew na kailangan niyang i-review yung mga tao at the temple. Alam niya kung ano yung, kung ano yung pangailangan ng woman at the well. Alam niya ang pangailangan ng 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 mga tao may sakit alam niya pa ang kailangan ng tao na may, na may leprosy alam niya ang lahat ng iyon because of his wisdom and there's nothing more we can do there's nothing more that we can contest that he is a wonderful counselor because he is God and he is a source of truth he is a source of truth he is uh, John chapter 14 verse 6 sabi ng salita na pa yun I am the way the truth and the life. He's not just the source of truth. He is the truth. Siya ang daan at siya mismo ang katotohanan. No? At napaganda na na sa kanya yung katotohanan, siya lamang ang daan, wala nang iba, pang, iba, iba pa. Siya ang pinagkukunan ng ating buhay. And He is our true answer. Sa so, pagkula ng ating Panginoon, ay bagamat marami ang 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 uh, nagko-compare, marami ang nagsasabi about about leadership. Marami ang nagki-claim na yung, yung, yung tao na ito, yung leader na ito, he is he's a great leader, he is a he is a perfect leader. But then again, nobody can can surpass 
this King, this Jesus Christ. Now, uh, Palua, not just he is a wonderful counselor, he is our mighty God. Which means, in the ruling of our Lord Jesus Christ, as, 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 as he rule over us, there will be no chaos. Why? Because He is our mighty God. He's not just a, a, a human person that has a, a great wisdom, great counselor, but dito natin may kita in description that He is a mighty God. It speaks of His, of his divine power. It speaks of Him being God. It speaks of Him that will bring order. Unang-una na kanyang na, uh, na inestablish ng ating Panginoon noon nang binigyan niya ng order ng kaayusan, ng chaos unang first and foremost is our troubled lives troubled lives, what are we? may hindi pa natin nakilala ng ating Panginoon meron bang purpose yung buhay natin? if 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 we could share our testimony ba't iba yung testimony natin pero isa sa, mag, isa sa mga katotohan na magkita ko doon is that our life is in chaos when we met the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything is in trouble. But then again, the Lord fixed us. The Lord showed us that, uh, that, that the source of life is not, is not a um, uh, 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 group of plants that exploded. Na yung buhay natin, na yung source ng buhay natin is, uh, came, from the, came from God. May, tapos, pangal, because of sin, we, all, we, we realized that our life is short. And thirdly, we realize that Jesus, that God gave, gave us life. He's the giver of life. And since He has given us life, it gives meaning to our life. There's a meaning, there's a significance of buhay natin. Now, Pangatlo is He is our everlasting Father. There's no complexity. Wala nang, wala nang magulo pa. Why? Because he, uh, translated, it is our, he is our eternal father. He is the father of eternity. He is Jesus Christ, his creator himself. He was with God. John chapter 1 verse 1. And he is God himself. He is the creator and the sustainer of everything. There is a, 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 a um, belief that the Lord has created our world just like a machine. And then, nung kinilig ito na parang machine, kaya niya sustain yung sarili niya, iniwan na tayo, na tayo ng Panginoon. No! The Lord is active in sustaining us. The Lord is active. The Lord is is our sustainer. Kung wala ang ating Panginoon, kagulo tayo. Hindi, kung hindi, kung iwanan tayo ng Diyos, walang mangyayari sa atin. And panghuli, He is the Prince of Peace. Wherein, we could find here, there will be no more conflicts. There will be no more conflicts. At alam nyo po, He is the Prince of Peace. Maraming beses binanggit po yung katagang Peace. At ito pong ating Panginoon is uh, the Lord offered. He offers peace from God. Nag-offer siya ng peace from God. Romans 1 verse 7 says, To all who are beloved, beloved of God in Rome, call the saints, grace to you in peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. He gives peace. He offers peace from God doon sa natanggap ng kanyang biyaya. Pangalawa, He receives peace with God. Romans chapter 5, verse 1, it says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Doon, for those who, who surrender to Him in faith, and He brings the peace of God. Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, and the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. To those who walk with Him, 
those who work with him. Now, um, ito po peace na na natamasa lang natin ngayon is in the the, the angels also declared in Luke chapter two verse fourteen. Sabi na mga angels, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace among men with whom He is well pleased. Of course, this declaration of the angels are God's, first is God's peace is available to everyone right now. And of course, uh, the angels declare the arrival of that one that will bring lasting Peace. So, ang Panginoon natin, ang tayo ay nakatanggap tayo ng ang payapa na meron tayo ay bunga yan ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon. And of course, yung tarating din, pagdating ng ating Panginoon, He will give a lasting peace sa atin. So, as we end this one, um, as we celebrate this Christmas, now we appreciate natin at mabigyan, ibigay natin yung hope natin, ibigay natin yung, yung admiration natin. Walang iba kundi sa ating Panginoon, Jesus. Because He is our great ruler. And yan dapat ang ating inaabangan. Ang, ang, ang iba nga, ang iba nga uh, sa Facebook would, would joke about it na, na ang alos lahat na lang nila binabanggit ay ang ang sampung libo bawat pamilya. So, na, na nakikipag-away sila in, with, with, with other person, with, other, with fellow brethren, with, 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 with uh, fellow Christians, because they are rooting for a certain, certain ruler. But then again, Christians, let me remind you this, our great ruler ay hindi dito. Ang great ruler natin, hindi, hindi yung yung certain person na nandito kundi our great ruler is Jesus Christ and that's what, and that's what we are hoping for He is our greatest hope so yung pag-asa natin that's why I, I am very excited also of of what kind of ruling anong gagawin ng ating Panginoon when He rules anong gagawin ng ating Panginoon nung kapag siya na ang mag-take over mag-lead sa atin and of course as we remember Christmas let him be the king of our lives. He came here in, 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 in his first advent to be the king of our lives. To be the king and the ruler of your heart. Kaya mga kapatid, na why this Christmas, maraming tao ang hindi nakakaalam na naparito ang Panginoon. Some would just remember it as a long holiday. Some would remember it as a, as a time for family gatherings. But, to us, na alam kung ano yung gaano kalalim ang mensahe ng Paskwa, let us share it to them. Let us share that the Lord Jesus wants them to surrender their lives and let Jesus Christ be their King. And now we can pray. Kung tayo rin, let us, let God rule sa buhay natin. Naranawa yan po ang, yan po ang isa sa mga napagandang mensahe ng ating Panginoon. Sa atin. He is a great king and he will rule over us. That's what we are hoping for. At yan pong pag-asa na yan, it will happen. Habang nag-aantay tayo, let us be faithful in our service. Let us be faithful sa ating, pag- sa ating, sa ating ministry. Let us be faithful sa mga in-trust ng Panginoon sa atin. Tayo po manalangin. Dear God, thank you for this time. Thank you for your word that reminds us. As your Lord, bless us. This we pray. In Christ's most precious name, Amen.